Nick here, yet another YouTube author and gear review channel. Today I want to show you the Sofern SD05, a diving light, a very compact diving light, powered by a very potent lithium ion battery, delivering up to 2500 2550 lumens. It's a really good looking little light with a magnetic ring. It was sent in for you by Sofern, so I didn't have to pay for this light. Nevertheless, I put some wear and tear on it and I will tell you my honest opinion about this little diving light. Well, for a scuba diver, this is probably or would be probably a backup light. But for a snorkeler, that could be a primary light. I do a lot of snorkeling, never got to do scuba diving. Didn't have the time for it. Um, but usually I use my Armitech Doberman, but this one is just way brighter and it's also a little bit more compact. It's, uh, the LED featured is a Cree XHB 50.2, so a very powerful LED. Um, the reflector has a slight orange peel. Um, the build quality is hard anodized type 3, and I already was able to test that out. I'll tell you later how. And well, it has double O-rings, of course, like most diving lights. There's the 2100, uh, 20, 2000, oh, 20, 100, 70, whatever, you know, that type of super powerful uh, lithium ion cell compared to the 18650s, the 21700 has a little bit more punch, a little bit more capacity, same voltage though, so you can also use 18650s within that light. It also comes with an adapter, but you don't have to use the adapter. So we have uh, springs in there, those gold-plated, very massive springs that are of obviously good quality. Of course, um, as typically for Sofer, the fit and finish is close to being perfect. It's a, it's a ultra compact light. Now, the one thing that I don't like about the light, it has no temperature sensor, but it has an automatic step down after three minutes. That's a little bit of a shame because in the water, you have perfect heat dissipation. So you can get rid of the heat quickly, so there wouldn't be a problem to give the maximum light output for a longer time. After three minutes though, it doesn't step down abruptly, but it decreases the, the output very gradually, which is nice, especially if you do uh, underwater filming or so, then you don't have a sudden uh, change in brightness. Now. The beam itself is a little bit more on the floody side. So, and it is a neutral to cold white light color. I prefer warm white, especially in muddier waters, that would be an advantage. And of course, for diving lights, uh, a tight hotspot can be quite an advantage as you just have a much more punch. Now, size wise, uh, let's compare it to another light. But by 26650 cell, this is a Convoy S11, also with a X XHB 50.2, but in warm white. See, it's totally dominated by the sulfur, at least for three minutes. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But this is um, this is a very regular size for most of those cheaper diving lights with lithium ions. So this one would be, uh, this is not a diving light, but this would be about the size class of those diving lights that you find between 10 and, and 25 euros. So this one is really, the sofa is really way more compact. So I like that about this light. Now as to the specifications, the working voltage is 2.6 volts to 4.5 volts. So really you just have to use a 18650 battery or 21700. Now the weight is 120 grams without the batteries. It's very light indeed. And yeah, the anodization, the coating is type three. Uh, when I had to crawl out of these, uh, out of the crevice that I was in, that you see in the video, 
Uh, I had to climb over rocks, I had to use ropes to get out of there and the flashlight of course was constantly bumping against rocks, even the glass got hit. And well, as you see, there is hardly any traces on the flashlight. You can hardly discover anything. So this already shows there is a very, huh, very sturdy coating on top. So that's definitely true. Yeah, we have the magnetic rotation ring for one-handed operation. This is very much a standard on diving lights. Uh, has a disadvantage. You can also activate it with other magnets. Like for example with this charger. So you need to be still careful when you store the light. It's probably better to disengage the tail cap when you transport it in your backpack or so. Now we have a reverse polarity protection. If you install your battery improperly, we have a low battery warning. I've seen that in the runtime test. We have that automatic step down, which I'm not a fan of. I would appreciate a thermal sensor. Uh, yeah, the low voltage protection at 2.6 volts, it will just turn off then. Yeah, I like the light a lot for the price and including the battery even for around 30 to 40 euros. It is really awesome. It is super high quality. It comes with this nice lanyard. It comes with a charger. So it's everything you need to get started. Now is this the perfect diving backup light or perfect snorkeling light? Well, I would wish for a little bit of a tighter hotspot, although considering the size of the flashlight, that would be tough to ask for. But I definitely would prefer, prefer a warmer light color. And I would prefer a thermal sensor, so it doesn't step down automatically after three minutes, but only if it actually overheats, which is very unlikely if you swim in, in cold water like I did that other day. So is there anything else to say about this light? No, it's definitely another high quality flashlight from Sofer. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you go swimming, if you go snorkeling, diving, this is definitely an awesome light to have. And it has such a little weight and such enormous output, it's just awesome. I think you can also use it uh, on dry land. I have used it. It does not overheat with the three minute step down timer. It's safe to operate. And the cell, of course, gives it a good runtime, as also confirmed in, the, in my runtime test. So I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope it was useful to you. This was Wear and Tear. Over and out.